What's going on guys, it's Bear Milk here, and today we're going to be taking a step back from the live commentary to talk about a little known series uh, by the name of Call of Duty, specifically the newest addition to Call of Duty with the battle royale that is Warzone, and just talking more about the future of the franchise and what's to come and what we should expect and what we should hope for in the next couple of years. So we're going to start by talking about the newest update in Warzone, which is Call of Duty's Battle Royale game. And in the newest update, we can find a couple of things. First of all, there are new weapons that can be found on the ground and in supply boxes. These include the Mark II Carbine, the EBR-14, and the Desert Eagle, which could not be previously found in this Battle Royale game. Another improvement is that players now receive the kill if the person that they have downed quits the game while they're still downed. In the past, this was a problem and many players complained about it and the devs have responded and added this to the game. Another change in the game is that there is reduced cash given for averting a bounty. So if you're able to dodge or uh, weave a bounty or the player that is hunting you gets killed, you don't receive as much cash as you normally would, which adds to the balancing of the game in hopes that more and more players will find more success. Developers have also increased the price of the loadout drop to $8,500 as opposed to the previous $6,000. This is again to add to the balancing of the game and allow for players to take a little bit more time to get the loadouts that they want, meaning that the late game will be a little bit more hectic, but also a little bit more balanced and fair. Now we have also discovered that the developers are planning a couple of things to be released pretty soon here in the future. A player reading the game code discovered that there are plans for duos and squads to be implemented into future Warzone updates, and that this is coming sooner rather than later. And this was actually confirmed then by the Warzone developers, so we know that we can expect something along the lines of squads and duos pretty soon. The developers have also confirmed the addition of custom matches, which will allow players to change the rules of the game with things like shield strength and weapon damage, but also they'll be able to host private lobbies. And while we can't expect many players to be able to fill a full 150 person lobby, if you can rustle together a few friends, you're in for a pretty epic LAN party. Now let's go ahead and turn our attention to the future of the Call of Duty franchise itself. Now, it has been confirmed that Call of Duty will continue with a release sometime in 2020. Rumors are circulating, however, several sources have said that the next installment of the franchise will be titled one of two names, Call of Duty Black Ops or Call of Duty Black Ops 5. So we can expect a continuation of the Black Ops series and possibly a return to the original Black Ops. Also, on a side note, check out this bullshit. I wanted to shoot my gun, but I guess my gun did not want to shoot. Rumor has it that the game will be set in the Cold War era and will cover the entire length of the Cold War, including Vietnam and the Korean War. And now this personally makes me very excited as I remember the long summer nights that I spent playing the original Black Ops with the boys. Seeing as Black Ops is personally my all-time favorite Call of Duty game, returning to this era would mean a lot to me. The potential for map remakes and the addition of some of the old Call of Duty Black Ops guns would also maybe draw in the OG crowd that has been lost in recent years because of the futuristic style of some of the newer Call of Duty titles. According to the source that provided the release year and possible titles of the upcoming Call of Duty game, the game will also allegedly feature more realistic wartime events and scenarios in an aim to turn the series more towards realism after the strides that Modern Warfare has made. As it has been described, this will mean more gruesome gameplay, which may or may not benefit the franchise beyond just this upcoming game. We shall see. Call of Duty Battle Royale also seems to have a very bright future despite a few of my concerns. Warzone adds so much to the battle royale genre of gaming. It has fast-paced gameplay, it introduces contracts and the very rewarding cash system, and also there never really seems to be a dull moment while you are in-game, and there will no doubt be a continuation of Warzone in Call of Duties to come. 
However, the success of Warzone raises red flags about microtransactions and free-to-play titles within the Call of Duty franchise. Given that Call of Duty has always been about the grind, whether that be through multiplayer, zombies, or the new Battle Royale, the idea of microtransactions is one that would anger a lot of fans, myself included. Pay to play is a slippery slope, and we can only hope that Activision has enough sense to avoid the mistakes of companies like EA. Now, despite my concerns, it seems as if Call of Duty is returning to its roots, which is very promising. The chartered course for a return to realism over wall runs and jetpacks will undoubtedly pay off. It seems as though we will see a version of Call of Duty that we recognize, something that seems familiar, and more importantly, something that seems accessible. The nostalgia and pure fun of the franchise's best titles has earned Call of Duty my support. And no matter what the future holds for the franchise, I know that I am certainly excited, and I hope that you are too. If you guys enjoyed the video, please, please smash that like button and pound, no, destroy, no, demolish that subscribe button. It shows me that you appreciate the content that I'm making and it inspires me to make more. We want this community to grow, but in order to do so, I need your help. And with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching. It's Bear Milk, over and out.